Hi friends! Pete and I have a story for you about Pete and he is having a hard time going to sleep. Do you sometimes have a hard time going to sleep? I know Miss H does sometimes. It's not always fun to go to sleep, but it's very important because it helps our bodies and our brains to grow big and strong. So we're going to listen to the story about Pete the cat and the bedtime blues. I wonder why Pete is so upset about going to bed. Let's listen and find out. This is written by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete is going to sit crisscross applesauce with his hands in his lap and listen to the story so nicely like I know you will. Pete the Cat and the Bad Time Blues. He's all tucked in bed. Pete and the gang had a great day. They'd been at the beach surfing sun and tons of fun. Well, he's surfing. So is Alligator and Grumpy Toad and Gus the Platypus. But when the sun went down, they didn't want the fun to end. Pete had an idea. Hmm. Hey, how about a sleepover? More time for tons of fun. Groovy. Pete's place. Let's go. The party was far out, but they knew they couldn't stay up all night. The gang decided it was time to say good night. On went the pajamas and out went the lights. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Pete was just about to catch some Z's when clap, clap, clap. Who did that? Pete asked. It was me, said Grumpy Toad. I don't want to go to bed. I want to clap instead. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Time to sleep. Pete tried again to catch some Z's when rat-a-tat-tat. Who did that? Pete asked. It was me, said Gus the platypus. I don't want to go to bed. I want to jam instead. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Time to sleep. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, toad. Good night, Pete. Pete closed his eyes to catch some Z's when he heard... Munch, munch, munch. Pete had a hunch. It was alligator. He was always up for eating. What could Pete do? All the clapping... Rat-a-tat-tatting and munching was giving him the bedtime blues. Pete had a groovy idea. He got out his favorite bedtime story and started to read, first to himself and then to the gang. What's he reading about? Pete the Cat and Ten Little Monsters. That's the story he's reading to them. Do you think that'll work? Pete noticed it was finally quiet. No more clapping, no more rat-a-tat-tatting, and no more munching. They all settled down. No one made a sound. Pete yawned and turned off the light. Good night. Sleep tight. Time to catch some Z's. Tomorrow was another day for surfing sun and tons of fun. They were dreaming about going back to the beach and having fun. The end.
Did you like that story? Pete did. He had a problem that his friends wouldn't go to sleep, and he thought, and he thought, and he thought, and he came up with reading them a bedtime story to get them to go to sleep. And it worked! Great thinking, Pete.